Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 5th through the 11th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with <clears throat> a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Aquarius, what's going on? A little bit to the side here because Juno decided to take over the table. <clears throat> Okay, the overall energy for the reading, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this could be talking about change, changes here happening. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Um, in the recent past, the Magician, the Sun, the World card. Ooh, three major arcana cards. Manifesting happiness, and I feel like it worked out up to some point. Wow up to some point here. There's definitely a closing to that cycle there. In the current situation, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands, things are getting difficult, more difficult by the day here in a potential commitment by the looks of it. So things were happy at some point, things did work out until, shit, Kai is here too. And there's a fly involved in this situation. That's why the shit part. Because if they both start to chase that fly, okay, Kai's more interested in the food aspect of things. Water, food, water. Yeah. Um, so they were good at some point until they became quite difficult here by the looks of it. In the immediate future, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. There's this energy of, I'm independent, I'm free, I'm feeling so good, it's not even funny. Look at me, how good I feel. But if this is you, you know you're lying, you know, kind of a thing. So it's not like I'm seeing here that mm, maybe you're kind of lying. No, you know you're lying. Okay. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Pick a girl. You got it? No, you didn't. That's outside. That's outside the window. That's not inside. I hope it stays outside. By the side of it. What is that? Oh. There's a ladybug, too, outside. It wants to come in. Huh? Oh, let's see if we can come back. All right, so for the Wheel of Fortune, you get the Fool, the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. All right, so you're showing me a, an energy of, you know what? Um, I kind of want to make this work by the looks of it. Quite persistent in this energy. Uh, either you or whoever this is attached to you. There's there's definitely a, a little bit of stubbornness behind this. Let's make this work. Let's try. Let's, you know. It's kind of coming through like that. Um, let's do the Magician in the recent past. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Two of Pentacles. No. You're stuck? You're stuck. No. Oh. Hold on. There you go. I'm gonna cut those claws. Um. All right. You are manifesting happiness here by the looks of it, but you're you're coming from a place where there's definitely a sense of independence, there's definitely a sense of uh, you know what, I'm doing good on my own here. Um, there was there was still some healing to be done there. You were good for the most part, but you carried a heavy heart, a broken heart by the looks of it. And I feel like that kind of interfered with your manifestation, 
which means that maybe at the time you started to manifest this happiness coming through in your life, uh, it didn't quite tie up at that time. I feel like it, it was kind of down, down the road kind of a thing. Because first there needs to be healing because otherwise that broken heart stands in the way of your manifestation. So I don't see that happiness coming. Just, you know, further down the line, yes. But at the time you were trying to manifest this, even though you felt I'm quite good, no, it wasn't coming through. Something wasn't quite balanced there for this manifestation to, to come through. Let's do the sun in the recent past. Juno, off the walls. Juno. Eight of Cups, the Sun, the Seven of Swords. The, the irony in this is that happiness was there already. Um, you couldn't see it because you were disconnected from your heart. You're, you can only see happiness through your heart. And you were disconnected from your heart because your heart was in pain. So it's kind of normal to avoid going there when it's hurting. So you're showing me an energy of I'm good on the surface, everything's fine, everything's perfect. Um, which again, I believe you in that energy. How about when you sink into yourself there, what's happening there? It was lacking something and you were manifesting for something that was already there, but you couldn't really see it. It was surrounding you all over the place. You know, so that ended into you walking away from happiness all the time. Um, I mean, for as long as you stay disconnected from your heart. Let's do the world card. Okay. Two of Wands, Six of Wands, the Judgment card. Okay. Things changed here for you at some point. Definitely a whole lot of transformation coming through. Uh, that felt good. Felt different. Better. It took a minute. But this cycle came to a close where you're manifesting something that's already there. You're just not able to see it because you're not healed in that department. And then once you start healing, you kind of acknowledge that, yeah, you know, this is definitely something I wanted for myself and it's been here. I just didn't kind of see it. But you're starting to see it. So that's, that to me translates into healing. Okay. Let's do the Nine of Wands in the current situation what is going on here um the tower the four of wands the five of cups something happened something happened to this dynamic to this commitment whatever it is to this marriage whatever this is something happened something shook things off here big time i don't know what it is an energy from the past, which is telling me that something may have happened in the past and someone's not letting go of it, whatever happened. And it's creating a, a rejection towards this connection. You know, a, a sense of separation, like keeping it at a, at a distance. Let's do the Ten of Wands. Five of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Hangman. This is a painful situation here because there's a lot of love here. Um, there's a lot of love, but the energy of love is stagnant. The energy of love is not involved in what's going on here. The energy of fighting, disagreements, all sorts of other energies, opposite of love. Yeah, plenty of that, which makes the situation quite difficult because even though the energy of love is not involved here, you do know it's there. You know, so let's do the four of wands. Ace of pentacles, two of swords, page of swords. Yeah, you kind of want for things to work out, for things to get better here. The problem is you're overthinking this whole process um, and you're thinking of external solutions, kind of like it's it's not on the outside it's it's definitely not on the outside it's an inside kind of a thing it's an energetic kind of a healing that needs to happen here it's the solutions are not outside of this you know and you're looking outside with the mind there 
and you get lost in the outside solutions. Like, how do I do it? What do I do? What's the best method for this to get fixed? With the, instead of looking inside, that's where the answers are. Because that's where all of this is happening from. Something happened in the past and it left something over this connection. And whatever happened in the past here needs healing. Either you or them or the both of you need to heal this. Which I don't know what that is, but it's in the past. Uh, something quite significant. Because I don't see it being like, oh, it's a little something. I don't know, they said that and they hurt me. Oh, no, it's bigger than that. That hasn't been healed. And it needs healing for this to have a chance, for a new chance for something here. Otherwise... It's going to keep on entertaining these energies, which as much love as there is in this situation, I don't see this lasting for too long, as long as these energies are playing off of this. Why is the light on again? What kind of an animal is there? Because it has to be a pretty big one. Raccoon. Hopefully not skunk. Let's see. Can I see the light Let's see the Knight of Wands in the immediate future. Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You know what? Believe it or not, I see a little progress here. I see intention. I see passion in restoring this. I still see some overthinking, but not as much as what's going on here. And there's definitely more action, more... If I want to try something, I may as well do it, kind of a thing. You know? There's a boost in, in someone's energy here. The one that wants to try, the one that want, doesn't want to give up, I see a boost in their energy and kind of going out there and just trying things. I don't know. Something. But, meanwhile, this wouldn't work. This wouldn't get a boost unless there's been work inside here. So... I bet you someone started to work with their own energies here. For the um, Nine of Pentacles, you get the Devil, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands. And you keep on reverting back to the, this energy of let's look for solutions outside. Um, it seems like it's the easier to grab, the easier... Like, almost like everybody's doing that, so you know that's where I'm going to be looking, outside. When the answer is actually inside, you don't want to be doing that. You're starting to acknowledge that, no, the solutions are not there. You know, the mind is sending me out for a wild goose hunt here, but you still kind of do it. It, it. It's almost like a habit. Like, okay, we have a problem. How do we fix it? Let's look outside. Okay, we got a thousand options. What are we going to try first? That one? Eh. No, eh, that one looks good. Okay, let's let's go with that first. We have all thousand of them, so we can try them. We have time. Okay, so let's try outside things. A thousand of them, and oh no, neither of them work after you know twenty years. Um, hmm, where's the problem? Hmm, it's inside. You know, so it's normal for us to to go back to old ways of doing things just so you know let's do the five of swords for the um, immediate future the high priestess the knight of wands the seven of pentacles you show me i'm following my intuition here and it's leading me outside uh, <laughs> your intuition is speaking from the inside it's never going to lead you towards outside solutions you know for things to work out it's speaking to your soul and your soul needs to act, not your mind, not your body, not your let's look for a thousand solution. So that's why it's looking like it's deceptive here, because you keep on doing the same thing, justifying it with I'm following my intuition. And my intuition is pointing me towards a thousand solutions outside of myself. So I'm going to keep on looking there. That's not your intuition. That's a lie. That's not your intuition. That's your mind. Your mind pretending to be your intuition, your mind has the intuition mask, mask and comes to you and says, Hello, Aquarius, I'm your intuition. Listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. I got you. Make sure it's your intuition speaking to you. 
a lot of the time is the mind and people think, no, I feel like I'm intuitively guided by my mind to do this and that and the other. All right. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. It feels like it's a, it's a hard process to detach from looking for solutions outside of the problem when the solution is inside of the problem, you know? Um, but let's see. Yeah. Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Eight of Cups. Really close off emotionally here too. That's the first thing you should start with. Open up. Feel what's going on here. I know it's nasty. I know it's shitty. Who the hell wants to feel this? But without feeling, you won't go inside to see where the problem stands. Where in this, whatever this is, there hasn't been healing. There hasn't been forgiveness. There hasn't been something that's creating all of this. You know, so you're, you're not liking this, that you're kind of paused in this situation for quite a while. But that's because you're disconnected from how you feel. So that's the first thing that maybe you should go with. Start connecting back to your heart, how it feels. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.